Hey, this is Slap Out Lash Girl Melissa. Welcome back to my channel. I'm excited today to bring you this mask and makeup. Ugh. And here in the state of Alabama, it is like hot, humid. And I did find this video um, on YouTube and I kind of followed her lead. Her name is uh, Stephanie Marie. So if you've never followed her before, go follow her. She has, I'll put her, her YouTube, uh, video on this. I followed some of her tips and tricks and I really did like them. Now I did tweak a few because, you know, skin types are different and that's something you need to keep in mind as you're watching this video because your skin can be different from mine and you really need to pay attention to whether you're dry. I'm combination. So everything that I do is great for a combination kind of normal skin type. If you have dry skin, you may want to rethink and I'll give you some options for that as we go along the way, okay? So if you have thousands of masks like I do, <laughs> I, this is only a few of them. I mean, I've got a lot of masks, so, um, and, and they're all different, but nonetheless, we have to wear them. And if it, you're in a state that's hot and humid and you're having trouble with your makeup staying on and, and coming off, um, you know, onto your mask, you know what I'm saying? But these kind are nice because you can wash them, but still makeup will stain them. And uh, at least the only thing I can think of is that you'll know which side of the mask you need to wear to your face. <laughs> That's about the only good thing that maybe transferring makeup would, would bring you beneficially. But okay, see so if you wanna know how to get going with this, I haven't even started, so come and hang out with me. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do every single day, whether you put on makeup or not, is your skincare. Skincare is the best thing that you can do. Now, I've already put on all of mine, um, my eye creams, I've put on my day cream moisturizer, I've put on my serums, I've put on everything. So the one thing though you gotta keep in mind is how much you're putting on and how long you're gonna let it sink into your skin. Now you are gonna have to let this sink into your skin a little bit. So you can't really get in a big hurry. So put your skincare on and then dry your hair or whatever you're gonna do with your hair. I didn't do much to mine today. <laughs> it's too hot to do anything with it. But after you've let it sit, I like to let my, uh, my before I put my makeup on, I like to let my skin uh, settle into my skincare for at least 15 minutes. So sometimes I'll go make coffee and that kind of thing. But before you're going to um, apply anything to your face, touch it. You can feel that it's still a little tacky feeling. So the best thing to do is take some tissue and you know, I normally keep tissues in here and um, it's just toilet paper really that I just tear off the little pieces. It's perfect for blotting your face. You can either fold it, you can use it just like this and you just wanna go around your face and remove any extra moisture that you don't need, okay? Because why is because it's slippery. Your face can be a little slippery. So, so this is one of the um, Stephanie's tips was blinding your face. Now I had been doing this already and it does help to remove a little bit of the moisture that you do not need before you apply anything. Cause you want this, this is going to be foolproof. I'm telling you, as I worked my way through it, and right now you can go back and feel your face. I can feel it and it still has a little tacky kind of feel to it, okay? So still, we've removed some of the moisture and that's one of the first steps that you wanna do, okay? Now the second thing we're gonna do, your best friend is gonna be setting spray. Yeah, I love setting spray. Setting spray is the bomb. Now I'm gonna use Unique Setting Spray. I love this stuff. I just ordered me some more because I can feel that this is probably getting about right down to here. And Setting Spray is wonderful for this humidness that we mm -hmm. have here in Alabama. I'm not sure where you're from, but still, Setting Spray is the bomb anywhere you live. Okay, it is. You're gonna spray on the setting spray. Ooh, Lord, that feels so good. And you're gonna have to let it set for a few minutes. Whew, think about it. Ooh, and you're gonna have to give this time to settle. I like to layer this. We're gonna use setting spray again. I was doing that too, and Stephanie Marie did the same thing. <laughs> I was kind of shocked. Our, our routines were kind of similar. Uh, she's from Louisiana and I'm from Alabama, so maybe that's why they're similar. I really resonated with her video. So, all right, so you're gonna let this set for a few minutes and let it do its thing. It needs to adhere, it needs to dry. Let it dry. You might wanna hand, you know, go get you some more coffee at this point. <laughs> That's what I usually do. <laughs> All right, I'm helping my setting spray. 
dry just a little bit faster because I don't want to really wait. So you could do something like this. This would be perfect for you. <laughs> and keep in mind too that you can use your setting spray throughout the day. So if you feel like you're getting too shiny or something, just, something's moving around, make sure you can you can take setting spray with you and you can spray throughout the day. Uh, rose water is also really good uh, for hydration if you feel like your skin is getting too dry. Uh, that's strictly up to you. But the next step is primer. Use a primer. But keep in mind, the primer that you use, you need to make sure that it's good for your skin type. There's hydrating primer, which, which I have too. I have Unique's hydrating primer. I've used this quite a bit. You can see it's very thin. <laughs> and then we have the mattifying primer. And I'm going to use the mattifying primer because I really like this in the summer, okay, for my skin because I'm T-zone oily. And this is basically where I'm going to put it. All you need is a tiny pea-sized amount. Put it on your fingers. Dab it, always dab it through the middle and then spread it out a little bit all the way. Now she added an extra layer of powder underneath. Um, I tried it both different ways and I'll show you what I mean about that in the next step because that's what we're going to be doing in the next step. Um, I didn't need that extra layer of powder. But you might. So in, so when you put your moisturizer on and you dab it off, you can take a moist blending bud, is what she did, and she used a setting powder, dipped it down in it, and just pressed it into the skin. I did that, and I found it to be maybe just a little bit too drying for me. Um, so depending on your skin type, you, you're you going to have to, it's a trial and error with this. Uh, I'm still kind of working with it because I've only been doing it for about two weeks now. But I did find that I didn't have to have that extra layer. So take your setting powder. I have Unique's setting powder right here. And any kind of setting powder will do. I have It's by My Pores also. You dip it down in. You get a little bit of powder here on a moist blending bud. And you press it into the skin just like this. Everywhere that you need to set a little bit of powder. Now I skipped this step, but you can do it. Try it. Try it first that way, and um, then I think you will really like it. If it works for you, maybe if you have really oily skin, that is the perfect thing for you to do, okay? All right, so the next step that I'm going to do is eye primer. So while my, um, my face primer is setting, I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of my eye primer. I love this eye primer. I think it's out of stock right now, Unique, but it is so popular. I can see why. It works really well. It has a little bit of a tacky feel to it as you put it on and apply it, but this is going to give you a nice little barrier between your eyeshadow, and I'm not going to do an eyeshadow look for you today. Um, I'll do that off camera, and I'll come back toward the end, And because uh, this is strictly about your face and wearing a mask, okay? We're not wearing the mask across our eyes, but I'll tell you what I've used for my eyes um, as far as this humidity weather that we have here. It's really, really horrible. But I am going to use a little bit of concealer. The concealer that I am loving now, there's, there's, um, I've got a bunch of different concealers, but I'm going to talk more about the concealers when we get to the under eye. We're not there yet, <laughs> but I am going to use this. It's NARS. This is a, I, I'm trying to remember what color it is. I will link, I will put it down here somewhere so you can see it. Um, this is new to me and I've only had it for about a week and a half. I went to Sephora and got it. And this is one of their little testers. This is not the full size. It doesn't come quite that tiny. Now I'm going to take a little bit of this and I like to use my concealer right up underneath here. And then we are going to set this with powder. So I like to use It's by My Pores powder. It seems to work best for me. It's very light. It's very translucent. And then I'm going to smooth this in. I love to put a uh, concealer. It just brightens up the area. And also keep in mind that you, if you have a little discoloration, like I do see that little, you know, sometimes you have veins and stuff right here. And I like to lighten that up just a little bit and get rid of that dark spot right there. See what a difference that is? Look at that and look at that side. See it? It really does help. So if you have that, um, please try this. This is NARS, of course. Now, I used to, I still use our um, Unique Skin Perfecting Concealer uh, in my routine. I'm just not using it right here in this area anymore. I'm going to do the other side. I have a big brown spot right there, which I like to kind of conceal. But we all have something, don't we? We all have something that we don't like. 
about our face and something we want to change. Uh, I definitely see as I'm getting older, I, I'll be 58 soon in September. And wow, I can't believe where the time has gone. But I'm, I love, see how the difference that makes? Wow, it's just amazing to me. Makeup is so much fun. And summertime is really hard. Very, very hard to um, work with you. And now that we have masks to wear, it's really, really hard. I, I, you know, used to wear a different line of makeup. I, I used to use Elizabeth Varden, and it got to where it would just melt off my face. I, I just, I was in my early 30s and early 40s. Uh, I didn't find this makeup, Unique's makeup and stuff, until, you know, I was, um, I was 50. But it was been a game changer for me. I, for a long time, I wore... Uh, Physician's Formula, just the powder, and nothing else. Now, that worked great in the summertime because it was a powder, but I can't do just a powder anymore. It's it's too, uh, it's not enough full coverage for me, although back then in my early 40s, it was. Now, see, I like to put a little bit of concealer here. Sometimes we have lines here, and it creates darkness, so this, this is like the perfect, perfect color to kind of cover up that dark line. And when I go to put on my uh, eyeshadow or my liners, it really helps those to um, adhere better and stay better and they don't melt off your face. So that's another reason that I put it right there. Now I don't use the moist blending uh, bud to kind of take that in. I set this with powder. So I am gonna use my It's Bye Bye Pores. And here it is, I like the um, loose that comes out and you just put a little in the cap like that. That's way too much. <laughs> you don't need that much. But you're going to need a brush. So this is my Morphe brush. This is an under eye brush. I love, love, love it. Now you can use a smaller brush if you wish. And tap it off because you don't need a whole bunch of this. A whole bunch of this. No. But it does set it perfectly. And then when you go to do your eyeshadows, they're going to adhere better. Everything is going to fall into place. And you've got a nice little barrier between your skin because your eyelids are the most fully probably place on your eye on your face and that's why your eyeshadow will break down and you'll see the lines and the creases so this will help for that not to happen so make sure you set it with powder I can't see setting it with setting spray I think setting spray would be too I don't know I don't know if it would leave it too tacky the because the eye primer when you put it on some are tacky and some are not ours is it's got a little tacky feel to it which is why I like to set it with powder. All right, there we go. Now we're ready to move on to another step. Okay, now we're ready to move on. Make sure that you get a moist blending bud. This is one of those from Walmart. It's the Equate brand, I love it. And you're gonna fill it full of water and you're gonna squeeze it all out. And when it does not run down your arm, that it's ready. I usually kind of blot it with a paper towel or maybe a, a washcloth and kind of squeeze it out in the excess, but you just want it damp, just moist enough that there's no water running out of it. Now, I am gonna use a full coverage foundation. That's what she used. And I see the process. I, I like the way she thought because when you use a full coverage foundation like this, now this is a airbrushed finish. However, you can use a brush with it, but a brush is not going to put it into your skin like this blending bud will. This is going to be push it out and it's going to shear it out just a little bit. And shearing it out, that's why you need a full coverage. Um, but less is more, so that's what we're after. We're after the full coverage, but we're after, after a kind of a sheer application of the full coverage. So that's basically what I got out of her tutorial. And I love, love this. Now you spray, and I was doing this before, but I didn't really realize that, um, how it would work so well about shearing it out. And two couple of sprays like that. And I'm gonna, you know, if you need to spot treat afterwards, you can, you can come back and do a little spot treatment for yourself. Um, because it will shear it out. It's not gonna be quite as full coverage, but you don't need that much makeup in the summertime. But you can come back and conceal. Now, I normally don't. I think she did in her video come back. Uh, the only places I might want to conceal is I have redness here. And it does tend to kind of come through sometimes. Well, not with this, but this this foundation is wonderful. And I don't, you know, use what's good for your skin. That's full coverage. But make sure that you use a blending bud to apply it with. Now, I have not tried to do this with a stick foundation, like a cream foundation that 
I have that too. I have a liquid foundation. But the liquid foundation is already a medium, it's kind of a medium coverage uh, foundation. So I don't think it would work well for this. I would have to apply too much for it to really work. Unless I just wanted a really, really sheer kind of coverage. I want a full coverage, but I want it to be, make sure you hold your hair back. I want it to be um, breathable. And so let me cover up these old freckles and the redness. And I have one little pimple like right there. Come around your mouth. This, this foundation is amazing. Absolutely amazing. It goes on. It stays, it's non-transferable, and that's another reason I like it. Now, I'm gonna kind of spot treat right, right there, kind of get a little more full coverage over that brown spot and right here. I have some brown spots, I have a little pimple right there. <laughs> imperfection, we all are imperfection, you know? And that's the way it should be. I don't know that I would wanna be like totally I want you to see some of me in here, you know? I'm proud of my brown spots, some of them, because it means I've lived a good life outside, I'm number one. I'm enjoying the outdoors, and, they <laughs> and this right here is so light and so easy, and it's very touchable once you put it on anyway. So make sure that you shear it out in little light layers, and it's build, start off with a, like a, a thin layer, and then add to it, and then shear it out. Now, I've gotten to the coverage I want right now, so that's that's my coverage. So, this would be the next step, using the blending bud, uh, the moist blending bud, to apply it to your whole entire face. Okay, our favorite part, concealers under the eye. We all have a love-hate relationship with that, don't we? Yes, we do. Now, I have different concealers here. You're just going to have to figure out what's best for your skin type. Now, I have found that NARS is pretty much the best one for me, but I also have a store, like a drugstore brand too, that I really like. Um, I, I used to use this, and this is Unique's, uh, but I have found I like the NARS better. It's two different colors. You see that? This is more yellow-based, and this is more neutral. Um, really, really are cool tone. I really, really like this. This is light, this is blendable. You do have to work kind of quick with it. It does dry very quickly, where this doesn't dry very quickly. And you can shear this out, just depending on your skin tone. See, it looks beautiful with my skin tone. This is good. But I do like to highlight with this one. This is a full coverage concealer. It will cover up tattoos. Um, but I also have bought Tarte. I really didn't like this Tarte that much. Um, the color was okay, but the thickness is crazy, and it, it was just too hard to blend out. Um, I'm glad I only got a little trial size, and, and I, that's what I say. get get If you can get it in a trial size, get it and try it out first, because you just never know whether you're going to like it or not. Now, however, I do love this. This is a um, NYX Wonder Stick. Love it, because this you can use as a contour, which I like to do like that on either side and I will blend it out. Now this is a part where you can go ahead and add your creams and stuff like that. We're going to do blush and all that because we are going to have to set this again. Well, I'm setting it first with the powder and that will be kind of the um, telltale sign at the end and you can touch it and you, you will absolutely be amazed because you can touch your face and it will not feel tacky at all. It's amazing. But this side here has the light. A light stick that you can use. Now, however, we're going to use, and it's cream based. This is cream. So, right now, if I want to go ahead and blend this out, I'm going to use the blending bud. I use the blending bud just pretty much about everything about this look. It's the best thing that you can do because you want this to become one with your skin. And if you don't want to use a bronzer, this is a great way to get, you know, a little bit of definition into your face if that's what you wish to have. And I do. I like the way. The stick goes on, it's very creamy, it's very blendable, and it's just perfect with that. Oh, Lord, I like it. <laughs> I do, I love it. Now, let's go ahead and add this NARS. Now, NARS, we're going to, I'm going to use my fingers, first of all. Um, and I've gotten to where I like to do one side at a time. Now, this is strictly because it dries so quickly. And you can look, I've got some, um, some darkness here. And then, you know, it's just, <laughs> I'm older, so we're all probably going to have that. But we're, I'm just going to add just a little bit right here. There you go. And then I'm going to start blending it out with my finger. That's the first thing that I do. 
And then if you feel like it's too thick, which this is not too thick, it's very creamy, it's very blendable. I have really, really, really enjoyed using this. Now, however, I do tend to be very dry underneath my eyes, even though I use a lot of creams and moisturizers. And sometimes I have to come back in and I'll show you a little trick if that happens for you. Because we, the worst thing in the world is to have it settle into your fine lines and wrinkles. And you can't really get a good consistency. But I like this. It's blendable. It's workable. Uh, I like the color of it. Look how much brighter it is on this side than this side. Wow. I mean, I still have the, the colors here. But I'm going to have that. I'm just older. And... But, however, I do love the light that this brings. I do bring it down a little bit. I watched Dwayne Goss, and he, um, and you can tap it out if you wish. You can tap it out just like that. I probably should have done that on this side, but pretty much you can spread out this concealer. And then if you need, if you come back in and you look and some of it is settling in your lines, I always look up and kind of blend and push down and outward. And it will move that product and shear it out across your face. I don't want to be full coverage here, but I do like to have the brightness and, you know, cover up those, the brown, the dark circles. And mine are not that dark. Um, now, if you need a color corrector, you can do a color corrector. She did a color corrector because she has more of a bluish tint here. And she used, um, I can't remember the product she used, but... Um, it was a peachy color that she used, and she applied it first. And it might have been an e.l.f. product, because she uses a lot of e.l.f. products um, that I remember. Now, I'm going to let this set for a minute, and then, um, then I will be right back, and we'll finish this out. All right, so what I'm going to do now is do the look test. I call it the look test. Um, let's look and see if there's anything sitting there. It always is. It always is. No that there is no foolproof way of doing this. So I have my mirror here and it's magnified, okay? It's magnified. And I'm gonna come up and I'm gonna pull my skin out and I'm gonna look and lo and behold, there is some there. So that's where a moist blending bud like this comes in. This is an e.l.f. one from Walmart. I don't remember how much it was, maybe four bucks, if that. And you're going to pull your skin out and you're going to just dab and what this will do is remove any of the excess makeup that's there that we don't want. And then I can come back and look. It looks like it's gone. And let's check this side. Oh my goodness, yep, there's some there. It always settles in my lines running this way. So press this into it. Don't, don't swipe it. Just gently press and it will remove anything there that you don't want. I'm going to come back and look and see. It's gone. Yay! <sighs> That's the worst thing about getting older. Dealing with this is really, really hard. Now, if it looks like it's got too, if it's too, um, like too, too much creasy there, uh, you can always come and add a little bit of this. This is uh, Olivia Care. I get this at TJ Maxx. Ross, all those places like that you can grab this at. But what I typically will do with this is I will take it and I will not use the dropper. Now, I will not drop it onto my fingers. Basically, most of the time, I just take it off the side of the tube and take it in my fingers and kind of whisk it around like this, my ring fingers. And if you feel like it's too dry, then pop it right there. Anything else I don't need, I wipe off on my arm, and then I just dab this in. This would be a lifesaver for you. Believe me. If you have the issues like I do with the inner corner here, it's such a pain to put makeup on, put your powder on, or setting spray, and then you have a dry, cakey look. And sometimes that happens to me no matter what kind of sealer, concealer that I use. So... I always have this on hand. This is very cheap, and um, but it's very effective, and it 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 actually your skin will absorb it, and uh, it will not have an oily feel. So I'm gonna let that set for a few minutes, and then we're gonna move on to the next step in powdering our face. <laughs>
which I know that scares a few of you, but don't let it scare you, okay? Okay, my rosehip oil has set now. It is absorbed, and I'm going to spray a little bit of setting spray on the back of my hand, and then we're going to move on to our powder stuff. Now, you can use a cream blush if you wish. I'm going to use powder, and then we are going to set our face with powder, and you're going to go, what? No! Yeah, this is a great way to do it, though. This is what's going to seal the deal for you all day, okay? It really will. Now, I like doing it this way. Dab it onto your finger, and you just press it. I don't use powder anymore. I think you need to choose either or. Or maybe you could do, uh, if you want to do powder, and you like the powder, then maybe at the end, you just spray your face with the setting spray to set everything. But I like to use the setting spray to set my um, under eye concealer. Now I'm just going to wipe what else is left on my hand. And I'm going to set this back over here. Put the lid on it. If I don't, I'll lose, I'll lose it. All right, so we're going to come back and grab this blending bud here. And we're going to take the color, I think I will use today the color Sweet. And this is a color Sweet. Now this is a powder of foundation. Now you can apply it with a brush. I'm going to use this simply because I want to press it into my skin. I want it to become one with my skin. It almost makes me think of a cream kind of um, blush when you do it this way, because it does. It just goes right into the skin. You push it in. It's absolutely beautiful. And it almost looks very natural. It looks like you've been out in the sun and just got a kind of a sun kissed glow. You see the difference? I can see it. I got a little rosiness there. And you just take it, get it right on the end. And I never put anything on the apples of my cheeks. I always keep everything strictly right here at the corner of my eye and up into my temple. That's the key to us who are older. Now, if you're younger, put it on the apples. Your apples don't sag. <laughs> if I put mine here and have them here and then it'd be way down here and then it, that would not be a good look for me. So I don't do that. Now I did, I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a little bit of pearly. I love pearly. This is a luminizer. I will list all the products below. Believe me, I will. And I need a brush to apply this with. Let me see which one I want to use. I want to use this. This is a blusher brush. It's a Unique's brush. And I'm going to add a little bit of pearly right over the top of that sweet. Just right through here. Oh yeah. This is kind of a coppery color. Luminator. Oh. Gosh, it's so beautiful on your skin. Look at that. Yeah. Give you a nice little soft glow. Now, we're going into setting the powder. So, this is where we're headed. We're gonna, I'm going to use Behold Setting Powder. This is kind of an ivory color. It's, it's, it's very light. It's very pretty. It's very translucent. So, just because it might have, look like it might have a little color, um, you can still use it this way. So, what you're going to do is tell you, this blending bud's getting a workout today. I'm going to find a spot that I haven't used. And see, there's already some powder there. And I'm going to dip this down into the powder. We're going to have powder on here. And less is more. So, But what you're going to do now is press this powder into your skin. Now, of course, this is going to mattify your face. But it's also going to set everything. Now, I'm not going in my under eyes with it. Don't do that. Because I already have setting um, uh, setting spray there. So get a little more. And pressing this in, it changes. It's not like it's sitting on top of your skin. But when you're done pressing this powder in, you are going to go back and touch your face and you're going to go, wow, it's not tacky. It's not sticky. And then we're going to add an extra little barrier. I'm adding what I need first. And then we're going, and I don't like to call it baking, and she said she didn't either like to call it baking. But technically, it is kind of like a little bit of baking. But you're not putting a whole lot anyway. But it's right where your mask would go. And that's where she's putting it. So you're going to add. You're just going to kind of tap it in. Like right through here. You're going to leave a little bit of powder sitting there. And where else do you want it? Right where it sits on your nose. Right around there. And then you're going to bring it right out here where your mask would be. Now this is going to be the best part of this tutorial because this is what has really helped here in the state of Alabama, as hot as it is, I was able to wear my mask and I had no transfer. So the powder is the key. 
make sure you powder everywhere you have a t-zone problem that's what i do and i definitely put it across my nose quite a bit because that seems to be where um the most of mine come from it comes off here and then right in here so you're going to let this sit for a few minutes and then you can move on and do your lips let's talk about lips really quickly uh i did use a little bit of like chapstick or something you know to get my lips moisturized you can use a something that has a, a little plumper into it that's up to you you can exfoliate it's really good to do that just to get the moisture back into your lips now however you can use a lip stain um we have i've used lip stains before a lip stain is definitely not going to transfer um, you can use lip liners lip liners are great because most of our lip liners they're i mean they are waterproof uh, they're not going to transfer or if you want to use lipstick, you can do that. Um, so let me grab my products really quickly for that. Okay, Yee! I love doing lips, I love it. Now I'm gonna take this brush and we're gonna dust off where we've set that powder. And then what I want you to do is touch your face. I swear there is nothing tacky about your face. <laughs> Don't be scared of using the powder. Now, I love Unique's powder. You, you may have your personal preference in powders, but um, I definitely love Unique's. It's so pretty on the face, and it gives you such a light look. I really, really, really like it. Now, what I'm going to do now is talk about the lips. Now, when we get to your lips, like I said, you can use liner. You can use lip stain. I'm going to put a little lip stain on for you and show you that this is probably the perfect product you might be a little scared of it there's a lot of different colors this is the color shy which is the lightest it's like a pinkish color but it will stain your lips and it will give you a lot of staying power and you can definitely uh you can definitely put a lipstick over this if you wish or lip gloss lip gloss would be hard to wear though with a mask so this is all about our mask and where it sits on our face you see that gives you a nice little hue of color. So when you take your mask off, even though you may not have your lip gloss or whatever on, you can apply it then, and it's not gonna transfer onto your mask. Uh, this will definitely not transfer to your mask. I'm gonna show you. You can come back, and if you add another layer, it will darken it just a little bit. Try not to smudge too much, and just let that dry. It's a very sheer light color. That's why I like this color. But then sometimes I'll come back and add the, um, uh, this is pouty lip liner. <sighs> We're out of this color now. I hate it because it is kind of my favorite color. Um, Unique is bringing in a whole new line of products, new products. And I think we're getting like 15 new products this year. The eye cream was one of them already. So we've gotten that. Um, this is almost dry. I can take, you can feel it. You can just feel it drying. And what you want to do is do the kissable test first. Can you do that? You kiss your hand and there's nothing there. Look, ta-da. Just spots on my arm. We're going, <laughs> how many of you have spots? I tell you what, I told my granddaughter, she asked me about why I had so many spots. And I said, well, I am a, I was a sun worshiper, number one. And I said, but we might connect the dots and we could create little animals, you know? And she thought that was so funny. I said, well, it's true, honey. But you could do this over this. Now, it's a really pretty color. Now, this is like the perfect nude color. Uh... I'm sure you probably have something similar to it. But one thing about these uh, is they set in about 30 seconds for all they wear. Even on your eyes. We have the eyeliner stuff. Uh-huh. Look at that. Come right over the top of it. Darn pretty. <laughs> for lack of a better word. I love it. I absolutely love it. So pretty. Gosh, that's a pretty color. Now, one thing that I do love to do, which you can't get this product either, but you probably have something similar. So if you wear um, eye products um, that come in these little, they're like um, cream shadows. This one is a little shimmer, but these are awesome. And this is an eyeshadow called Elegant. 
but I like to take a little bit of it and pop it here. And the cool thing about these are they have staying power. So it's not going to rub off either. <laughs> it's going to stay too, but it gives you a little sheen. So if you don't want to wear the lip gloss, try to find you some kind of, uh, we still have some splurges, but we don't have this one. Find something with a little sheen in it like this um, that stays on, doesn't crease. This is an eyeshadow, beautiful. And look at there. So if you don't want to wear a lip gloss and wear your mask, it's not coming off. You see that? Nothing. Amazing. So that's probably my best tip for you right there. But if you want to wear lipstick, um, you can take some lipstick, um, take lipstick, apply the lipstick, and then you want to take one of these sheer um, deals like this, and you can place it over, and you can take your brush, dip it down into your powder like this, and put in your setting powder, place it here, and then just dab it all across where your lips are, and it gives you a more mattified uh, lip, but it also, that setting powder is there, and so it won't transfer as bad. It's going to have a little transfer, but not as much as it normally would, okay? But this would be what I've been wearing right here. And so, when I take my mask off, it looks just like this. <laughs> Amazing! Ooh, I like it. So, I'm going to go and finish out my eyes and my brows, and I'll be right back. Okay, guys! Here's the finished look. I did my eyes. Uh, I used a little bit of waterproof mascara as well. Unique has a fabulous line of mascara. So on my uh, lashes today, what I did was I curled my lashes. I used our Epic, just regular Epic mascara in black. Then I came back and added my 4D over it. And then I did the tips with the waterproof mascara. That way, I'm covered all day. So these three products are on my eyes and then uh, on my lashes, I mean. And then um, I did use this eyeshadow. This is a liquid eyeshadow. It's called Reverent and it is by Unique. It is beautiful. This was on my lid. I applied that first. And then one product that I have already used on my face was my blush. So I came back and I took this blush and applied that. So what you see is this <laughs> applied to it too. And then on the outer corner, just barely outer corner. I didn't put much color there. Uh, nonsensical, which is a pressed powder eyeshadow. So it really does create a beautiful look, quick and easy. No, no fuss uh, eye makeup at all. And plus your lashes are going to last all day. They are. So, and see my lips still holding tight. I didn't put anything on them. Um, and the reason I like to put that little sheen there is because I'm not using lip gloss, you know? And that's why I say moisturize first and let that sink in so that your lips don't feel so dry. So that's my other little tip for you. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed this. I have enjoyed this. I hope you try it. Please put in the comments that you did try it and let me know what you think. This has lasted for me. When you go to put your, when you go to put your mask on, you see it's going to sit right here like this right where we put that extra, extra, extra powder, it's, it's going to help. It really is. And so when you take it off, you're not going to have that transfer onto this side. I hope it works for you like it did for me because it's worked like a charm. I can feel my face and it's not tacky at all. It is set, girlfriend. Now, if the last thing you want to do is spray yourself or take this with you and throughout the day, you can use your setting uh, spray. Uh, depending on how hot it is where you are. Now, I do that sometimes because late afternoon, I think I need a little whew, to my face and I will kind of refresh in it and it feels so much better. And then I make it through the day and my makeup lasts all day. So, come back next Sunday. I hope you will. Please like and subscribe. Um, I would love that if you do that. I'm trying to build myself to all. I've almost got 10,000 followers. Yay! So, let me help me get there. <laughs> This old girl needs to retire. She does. She needs to do something else. Because um, I do work. I work a full-time job. I do unique. I have a mom who has dementia. I mean, there's a lot going on in my life. But this is the only day that I have for um, tutorials for YouTube currently. And hopefully things will change soon. And maybe, um, maybe this can be uh, something that I do more and dedicate my time to more. But I do appreciate you watching. And like I said, please like and subscribe. And I will see you next Sunday. Bye.